so this what you see on the screen what i have just shared with you is about the adult chain of survival in that what i am talking about is the links of these that is one more link is there that is the last link known as by the name of recovery but before that recovery there are five important links in that chain of survival the very first as i have given you the information is prevention and surveillance next to that activation of code blue then comes high quality cpr followed by rapid defibrillation after that rapid defibrillation when there is the approach of the med and rrt then comes the effective advanced life support care and that effective advanced life support care is associated with the helpful measures that techniques and skills that they implement to get rid of the patient from the cardiac arrest revive back to the life to have a pulse that is known as the rosc return of spontaneous circulation and that is known as the very third uh, after that fifth link comes is the integrated approach to the preventive measures that you have given to the patient and the last is that when we have taken the patient into the rosc condition now directly we don't shift it to the home or in the ward we just have to take care of that patient and we take that patient into the recovery zone and that is the last and the final link that is added into the 2020 adult chain of survival so now as you have seen that we have already gone through the pre inside hospital chain for adult now what is the difference between the pre hospital setting the pre hospital setting there what we have to take care of that we have to do the actively activation of the ems system followed by high quality cpr then when we are doing it simultaneously when we have activated the emergency system there is the dispatcher is going to ask the question that you have to get with with the aed as you give that information to the dispatcher that there is someone who has collapsed in front of you no pulse no breathing and that condition is immediately coming to the dispatcher's mind that that is a case of cardiac arrest and the equip ambulance is coming to you with an aed what is an aed can anyone have an idea of that so this doesn't require any recognition of the ecg rhythm this is predefined with two shockable rhythms that the machine is going to give shock on two rhythms only can anyone give me the information about what are the two shockable rhythms are vt and vr yes absolutely blessy but that vt should be pulseless pulseless electrical activity is a condition in which we never go for the shock pea is a condition in which we have to resume cpr that is the basic difference that we have to understand that we have only two shockable rhythms vt ventricular tachycardia being pulseless and ventricular fibrillation is always being pulseless so these two rhythms are shockable whereas the asystole and pea in that condition we have to resume cpr only okay so now as we have started with the cpr now comes the ambulance with the services of the aed now there is a paramedic staff is there they take over they give the effective advanced life support care that is the very fourth link of the chain of survival and the fifth link comes integrated post cardiac arrest management care for that we have to take the person to the nearest hospital and the last link is the same as the recovery okay 